Hello there everyone and Merry Christmas! Things are really lively today at Gecko's Garage. The mechanicals are decorating the tree. That's Blue's Christmas present from all of us. A brand new stove. He's loving learning to cook on it. And I'm just finishing Baby Truck's winter checkup. There you go, Baby Truck. All good. Oh no! We're snowed in! It's no use, Mechanicals. It'd take until New Year's for us to dig ourselves out that way. We'll need to think of something else. I have an idea. Mummy Truck, we're going to need your help. I'm sorry, we're going to need your new stove. It's the most important bit of the design. I promise I'll take good care of it and bring it back safe and sound. Is that okay? Okay, Mechanicals, fire her up. Hooray! It works! Now that we're all freed, it's time to help some vehicles in need. Great work, team! Nice work, Mummy Truck! You're a real winter hero! There you go, Blue. Just like I promised. Not a scratch. Thank you so much for letting us borrow it. Merry Christmas to you too, Blue. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> Left a bit. Right a bit. That's perfect. Well done, Caroline. Oh, hello, everyone. We're very excited because we're getting ready for Christmas here at Gecko's Garage. Caroline the Crane has been helping to decorate our sign. And Larry the Lorry should be here soon with our Christmas tree. Danny the Digger's digging a hole, ready to plant the tree. Good work, Danny. Hello, Larry. Goodness me, that tree is enormous. Caroline, we're going to need your help to lift it up and plant it in the hole. Thank you, Caroline. Now the tree's in position, 
Mia the Mini Digger is small enough to reach underneath and put the soil back. Well done, Mia. Hmm, the tree looks a little bare. We need to decorate it. I think this sounds like a job for the Mechanicals. Go, go, Reindeer Mechanicals! Oh dear, the Mechanicals can't reach. I think we need some help from Fiona the fire truck with her ladder. That's looking very festive. The only thing missing is a star on the top. It doesn't look as if Fiona's ladder can reach that high. I think this is a job for Super Mechanical. Beautiful! And here comes Florence the forklift and Sid the skid loader with some presents to put around the tree. There's one, two, three, four, five. Only five presents. I'm sure there should be more than that. Ah, Dylan the dump truck is carrying the rest of the gifts. Well done, Dylan. Fantastic! With a little help from our friends, we managed to get everything decorated in time for the Gecko's Garage Christmas Party. Here come the rest of the guests. Merry Christmas to you all from everyone at Gecko's Garage. We'll be having lots more adventures in the new year, so see you again soon. Hello everyone! The Mechanicals are helping me wrap up Christmas gifts for all of my friends. There's lots of presents here. Here comes Larry the Lorry. He's delivering a very special Christmas vehicle that's coming in for repairs today. Hello Larry, great to see you. Could you drop off your delivery inside the garage please, so that we can take a good look at it. It's Santa's sleigh! Santa uses this to deliver Christmas presents to all of the good girls and boys of the world. He's also sent me this letter. Dear Gecko, it's nearly Christmas Eve, my busiest night of the year. But my trusty sleigh is old and slow and broken. Please could you fix her up and make her faster. Then deliver her back to me in time for Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, Santa. Santa's sleigh is old, it's true but we can make her better than new. Adjust that runner, fix this part, a full respray, that's a great start. Now she's repaired and looking slicker, but what to do to make her quicker? This jet engine's the boost she needs to give her supersonic speeds. To test her out, is our next goal. But the reindeer are back at the North Pole. We need somebody who can fly to guide the sleigh into the sky. This sounds like a job for Super Mechanical! Fly, Super Mechanical, fly! So far, so good. Now we need to test this new jet engine. Hold on, everybody. 
three, two, one, go! Wow! Yippee! Let's deliver all these presents to our truck friends and then get the sleigh back to Santa. A new trailer for Trevor the tractor. Some spare windscreen wipers for Andy the animal ambulance. New maps for Tony the taxi. And a new horn for Bobby the bus. Look out below! Presents for everyone at the construction site. Some new jumps and tricks for Max and his monster truck friends. A radio for Florence at the spare parts store. And something for all our other truck friends. Fantastic! That's all of our presents delivered and the jet engine works a treat. With our upgrades, Santa and his reindeer will be able to deliver Christmas presents to all the world's children in record time. OK, Super Mechanical, next stop, the North Pole! Yippee! Thanks for joining us today. Merry Christmas to you all. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello everyone. It's nearly Christmas Day, but Santa's elves are sick and can't finish making the last few toys for Santa to deliver. He needs our help to make them. Santa's sent us this gift that he says will be useful. Wow! It's a new truck wash controller. And it has three new buttons on it. I wonder what they do. Let's go outside and find out. Let's start with button number one. Can you find button number one? That's right, it's the green hat. Wow! Button number one has turned the truck wash into an elf machine. Who's going in first? Brave young Florence drives in first, looking like herself. A respray and a brand new hat. Ha <laughs> ha, she's now an elf. In go Sid and Dylan now they've seen just what to do. The elf machine dresses them up to join the Christmas crew. And last, it's the mechanicals. Into the machine. And out come four more Christmas elves. Tiny, cute and green. Now we have our Christmas elves. I think it must be time to press button number two. Can you find button number two? That's right. It's the golden hammer and paintbrush. Amazing! Button 2 has turned the elf machine into a toy making workshop. Florence and Sid can fetch the different pieces to turn into toys. Mechanicals, you can go inside and get the tools ready. And Dylan, you can collect the finished toys. Let's get making. We'll start with something easy, some simple wooden blocks. We'll cut and sand and paint them and put them in a box. And now for something trickier, but with a little luck. Yes, they've made a tiny toy Fiona fire truck. Let's 
build another wooden truck to go in Santa's sacks. With four big wheels, some orange paint, a mini Monster Max. Those mechs have got the hang of this. They are impressing us. Look, they've made a perfect little bobby, the purple bus. And now it's time to make a delicious Christmas treat. All wrapped up in shiny foil. Some chocolate coins to eat. Just one more and then I think these presents will be ready. Just sew this up and add some stuffing. Look, a gecko teddy! The mechanicals have worked so hard we really should be clapping. But I've just noticed something. These presents all need wrapping. Wrapping all these presents by hand would take far too long. I think it must be time to press the last button on the controller. Button number three. Can you find button number three? That's right, it's the scissors and tape. Fantastic! Button three has turned the toy workshop into a wrapping machine. This'll wrap the presents in no time. Let's get wrapping. The gifts go back through the machine for paper, ribbon and tape. Can you guess what each one is? Just by its size and shape? A box of blocks. A toy Fiona. A mini Max. A little Bobby. Chocolate coins. A gecko Teddy. And, hmm, I don't know what that last one is. Never mind. Now they're all loaded into the sleigh, it's time for Santa to get on with his Christmas deliveries. Ho, ho, ho! How did you get up here, Yellow Mechanical? You'd better get down to the garage and take this gift for Gecko with you. Thanks to Florence, Dylan, Sid and the Mechanicals for all their help today. And thank you for joining us here at the garage. And... Oh! There you are, Yellow Mechanical. I was wondering where you'd gone. Oh, thank you for the present from Santa. Warm, cosy earmuffs. Fantastic. Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Where is Bobby? He's very late. Oh, hello everyone. You haven't seen Bobby the bus anywhere, have you? Bobby was supposed to be taking us back to the garage half an hour ago, but there's no sign of him. <laughs> it's so cold today, and Blue Mechanical forgot to bring his hat, scarf and mittens. Oh no! There's Bobby. It looks like he's stuck in the snow. He can't get out of that snow drift and he looks very cold. That can't be good for his batteries. Just like us, Bobby the bus doesn't feel very well if he's too hot or too cold. His batteries work best when they are warm. Bobby's batteries can't give his wheels enough power when it's as cold as this and his wheels don't have enough grip on the icy road. We need to help him right away. Come in, Tilly. I'm sending you Bobby's location now. 
Please can you come and rescue him from a snowdrift? Make sure you put your snow chains on your tyres. The weather is terrible out here. Here comes trusty Tilly to ease poor Bobby's pains with her super grippy tyres and sturdy snow chains. She's so strong and steady, she doesn't make a fuss, even when she's towing a big electric bus. I don't think Blue Mechanical's feeling very well either. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you? Let's head back to the garage to warm up. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Poor Bobby's wheels were really stuck. He couldn't make them go. And his batteries don't work so well under all that ice and snow. Now Tilly's brought him back here, out of the winter storm. We need those kind mechanicals to make poor Bobby warm. Go, go mechanicals! I don't think that little hairdryer will melt this cold snow shower. I think we need something with a little bit more power. Peter's more like it. He'll soon be warm and dried. But how can we keep Bobby's batteries warm when he's back outside? Ah, when we go out into the cold, we wear a winter hat. So they're knitting one for Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? Bobby can stay with us for now to keep warm overnight. He can go out in the morning as soon as it gets light. Good old Trevor the tractor, he's spending the evening clearing the snow from the roads with his snow plough. The snow is melting, Trevor has helped to clear the roads, and Bobby has his new hat to keep him warm. He's off to do his job and pick up some passengers. I'm glad we could get Bobby warm again. Remember to always wear your coat, hat and gloves when you go outside in the winter. Just like me and the mechanicals. Hang on a minute. What happened to poor old blue mechanical? Ah, there he is. Phew! Bye!